Well, hello, my friends. Welcome back to the bench. Today, we're going to be testing Krylon shortcuts. And uh, the one reason why I'm testing them is the price. $3.99, and they're usually on sale every few weeks uh, at Hobby Lobby. But $3.99 is a good price for spray paint today. Um, but the reason why we're going to test it is because it says for wood, metal, craft foam, and more. We're going to see if plastic is the end more. And uh, being at such a low price point, um, we're going to see how they perform. Uh, I like to say going forward right now, if you're new to the channel and you're into anything plastic model building, be it cars, here's one I built of my Z3 I once owned, and it was white with this interior. And it could be uh, Gundams, you can see in the background, a couple of Gundams here, or anything. Uh, resin, 3D modeling. Uh, miniatures, I got miniatures back here. So anything like that in the hobby world, we'll test it. It's mostly paint, but we've tested it all. Knives, nippers, glue, everything. We test it all. Sand, sanding sticks. So please subscribe um, and like if you haven't already subscribed. Please do and hit the notification bell as we like to put up two videos a week. Um, and we've been keeping that promise for quite some time. Thank you guys. Anyway, going forward, let's see um, how these paints will perform. Now, we're going to try it over bare plastic, and we're going to try it over primer and see if it affects the plastic at all. And I'm also going to try it over this Gundam piece, part of a leg, and I primed it. So we'll see how it performs on both, if, it, uh, if it's too hot for it, as they call it, and if it melts. And we're going to try it on metal. Why not? It said metal, so we'll see how it goes down on metal. I took a for sale sign and cut it up. So uh, we'll see how it performs on that. And then I got a random piece of styrene plastic here. As you can see, it's got a pattern to it. We'll see how it covers that. And then we'll try it on resin. I did this uh, pour. I have a domino mold and I have a rock mold that I like to see uh, for testing. So uh, this is kind of rough. I don't know if we can see the roughness, but we'll spray it. We'll see what happens to so it. I'm not going to touch this. We're going to go right over the, the resin pour and see how that works. So uh, that's what we're going to do. We'll do, a, we'll do a couple on camera. I'll do these maybe. We'll do two on camera, and we'll do the rest off, but we'll show all these. Um, we have Raindrop, some kind of blue, mint blue, very nice color. This is, let's see what we have, rose gold. Uh, what do we have here? Chrome? Yeah, right. Nothing's ever chrome. Just call it silver. I'm telling you right now, that's not going to be chrome. What do we have here? Antique bronze. That's a nice looking color. And gold leaf. And tangerine. Now, some have the colors right up front, so I'm guessing some of these are the older cans and maybe some of the newer cans. So, uh, but the price point stood the same, which is good. So, I'm going to go ahead. We're going to shake these up. Now, when I shake them up, I use my Typhoon. I'll always show my Typhoon. Out of respect for my buddy, Robert Kennedy, who owns the company. Uh, he's treated me very well over the years, and uh, I do love his his uh, paint mixes. This one's about 15 pounds, and uh, I do like to use it with the flat top for my cans. I keep it under my bench. It's always plugged in. Look at the size of the cord for this thing. And I just flip them upside down. And I got to tell you, about 30 seconds in... And I am ready to shake. I'm ready to paint because this does the work for me. And particularly when I do a lot of uh, tests, um, my arm starts to go because I do a lot of colors at once. Let's get this out of the way. Oh, man, that's heavy. Yeah, I just want to show you guys how I shake them up. And, um, yeah, I go upside down and let her go about 30 seconds to a minute on that. And my hand is uh, free and not numb. Uh, for the rest of my sessions here of painting. So yeah, we'll paint these two on camera and for prepping on the white plastic um, I didn't have time to put these in my uh, Ultrasonic cleaner um, I got a new model coming in my old one is uh, not so much on the blink But you can't buy it anymore, so I don't like to recommend a product that you can't buy So I'm gonna get a new ultrasonic cleaner, which is on its way in this week Maybe we'll test it this week and uh, I usually put my spoons in a wash in there and get them all done but because that's on the blink what I did was I took these scuff pads that I got at the uh, auto store the auto paint store and I just rub them lightly make sure you get the dust off you rub this off of my shirt and it's nice and 
cleaned off. I should have all the residue that's uh, from the factory when they stamp this stuff out free of oils. I did it on all of my spoons, but normally I would just put it in a, a take about 20, 30 at a time in the my uh, ultrasonic cleaner and buzz them off and clean them right up. But uh, again, uh, I got a new model coming in of an ultrasonic cleaner. We'll probably do a video on that this week. And uh, hopefully it's a good model. I love my old one, but uh, you just can't get it anymore. I, I, I feel bad. I, I don't want to show it on camera because I don't like showing stuff you guys can't get. Uh, it's not fair. So anyway, let's uh, head over to the booth. My paste spray booth is uh, this away. We'll, uh, again, shake these back up in my Typhoon paint mixer there. And uh, let's try it on all these different bases here and uh, we'll see the results. All right, let's do this. We'll start with the gold. And uh, let's go over bare plastic first. That's the big test. I can get some distance here. Oh, nice look. This has a really nice look. You guys, can you guys see that? Wow, this is a, uh, you know, from all the golds I've tested over the years, this automatically, right off the bat, has a really, really nice look to it. Wow, that's impressive already. All right. Let's see if it goes over the primer okay. Oh, for the primer, hold on guys, I should have showed you this. Well, you saw it on the camera anyway. This is the primer I used. Tamiya Gray. All right. Should be fine, it went fine over the plastic, but oh, it's gonna look a little different here. Yeah, it's got a really nice gold plated look to it. Kind of impressed. All right, I got this piece of resin rock I poured. Check that out. Let's see how it goes over the little nooks and crannies here, so to speak. Yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm kind of impressed. Look at that. Looks like a piece of gold nugget. All right, over some metal. Let's see how it goes over this. Some heavy metal. Hard to see in the light. We'll have that dry before we test it. And this piece of corrugated plastic. I'm sure this will dry differently, but uh, I'm impressed right off the bat with this gold anyway. So, uh, all right, let me get these in the dehydrator and I'll grab that orange. Or I should say tangerine. All right, next up is tangerine. I think I know why they changed the design. They put the name on the can where the other ones, you had to look at the cap with the sticker on it to see the name. Much better, uh, much better design. All right, let's go ahead and try it over bare plastic first. Oh. Man, this comes out heavy. Wow, we'll let that sit for a second. We'll put it over the primate one next. All right, we'll go back to the spoon here, the white plastic spoon. A very good looking orange. I'll give them that. That's a great color. All right. Let's finish it up on the primer one. Again, because it's over primer, it's a bit different looking. Wow, I can see it off camera. It's, it's quite a bit different looking. All right, let's try it over this piece of resin. Try and blow it off here. I usually use the airbrush to blow it off. Let's try on the flat side too anyway. Let's see how that happens. good. Put that over here. Special spot for it. All right. Let's try it over metal. All right. We got it on there pretty good. All right. Here we go. Try it over this gumpla piece. Try for a second. Here's the one with the primer on it. All 
right. Let's go back to the other one. All right, we'll go back and forth here. I'm doing this in real time, but uh, I would wait about a minute, two minutes between coats, maybe even five minutes. I just want to see the effect it has on bare plastic versus not having to use a primer or not. All right, and there we go. All right, so I will put this into the hydrator. I get the other colors done. We'll meet back at the bench and uh, we'll go over the results. All right, the results lay before you on the bench. And uh, I have some favorites, particularly this half of the bench. Um, these are kind of impressive. Now let's see how it went over plastic. We'll start with the orange. And uh, not bad. Not the best. It's still not as good as Tamiya. It's got a little bit of uh, cloudiness to it. I think another coat would get rid of it. Uh, over primer. Much better. Not as cloudy. But a little darker because it's over primer. Very translucent the orange turned out to be. Um, over metal. Yeah, pretty smooth. Nice. Pretty good results. Pretty good. I'm kind of impressed. All right, let's see how the resin went over this domino. Yeah, it didn't absorb into it at all. If you see any defects, it's it's the it's my pour. I poured those dimples that was in uh, the mold. So it went over the resin, and here it is over the Gundam leg. And you know what? This is straight plastic and not bad. So it's not as hot as some other the uh, other Krylon paints or Rust-Oleum. Pretty good. You could tell they probably lessened the heat out of this thing because it is for crafting. And here it is over the primer on the leg. Kind of impressed. You know, for a $4 paint, I thought they would have just thrown their paint in a short can and charged a little less money for it. But... I know for a fact Krylon and the rest of them, when you spray it on these plastics, it really does, really does, wreaks havoc on it. And you have to have a primer down. Not so here. Uh, obviously, along with the spoon, showed the results. So here is Raindrop. Over white plastic. Over primer. Little different. It actually looks a little shiny over the primer, which is odd. I put P on it for primer. White, white plastic. But a nice color. This one dried much smoother than the orange, so it's probably more opaque. Over the metal. Dried, this one dried flat, or satin for some reason. Now this one isn't as good as these others. These are really good, but uh, for some reason, what is this? Rose gold had a heavy, heavy silver flake in it. Can you see it? And it's got a texture to it, like it's hammered metal. Maybe on purpose... I'm thinking they took one of their other paints, and this one, it seems like they just threw it in the jar. This doesn't seem geared towards the plastics and, like, the other ones. I mean, this one's as smooth as silk. So, I don't know. Maybe that was the look they were going for. Here it is over metal. Let me see. No, it's still kind of rough. Yeah, it's got a really hammered, it's a hammered look. Not as rough as a hammered look, but it's got a rough texture. Now when we get into this one, what was this color? Antique Bronze. These are beautiful. This is the plastic. This is the primer. Just like the other one, it's a little shinier. But a very nice color. Here it is over the for sale sign. Oh, well, yard sale sign. Looks like it had a piece of oil on it, a little drop of oil. But other than that, if I prepped it right, it would, would have come out perfect. Let's see how uh, durable it is. Wow, not bad. Let's get this out of here. Wow, look at this, guys. That is, uh, that's impressive. I folded it in half. It didn't crack at all. And this hasn't been drying that long. It's been in the dehydrator for about 20 minutes. Wow, not bad. That's where I had the clip hanging right there. 
Check that out. All right. I didn't, I didn't even think of doing that as a test. All right. So I'm guessing they're probably all like that. Before we move on here, let's try it. Yep. It really, it stretches and bends. Yep. Very durable. Excellent. Excellent feature right there. Very good. Let's try one of the opaque ones. Oh, yep. Nothing happens. Bend it back and it stays right there. Wow, excellent. Excellent. Now, I really, really do like these on this hat, particularly the silver and the gold. Uh, it says it's chrome. I knew it wasn't going to be chrome. But boy, you know what? This is a really, really nice silver. Look at that. You can't tell the difference over the primer or the plastic. I think it's plastic. This is the primer. It's no real difference. I put it over this black spoon. Sometimes it looks different over black. It's slightly different. Nah, nah, not really. A little bluish tint to it. But look at how nice it is. It just... I sprayed it over one of these resin rocks that I did the gold on. Look at that. Here it is, the original. So I am really impressed with this and the gold. We'll show the gold in a second. Of course, we don't have to bend this in half as we just saw it. But look at that. Very impressed. Very impressed. If this came out like chrome, it would have been awesome. I Maybe mean, I'll put some uh, candy colors over this. Maybe I'll spray some clear green and blue and see if it lifts up. Maybe it'll be a good base for, uh, for candy colors. Last but not least, the gold. Very impressed once again. Uh, this is a really good gold. I've tested a lot of Krylons and, and uh, Rust-Oleums and whatnot and uh, really have come up dry yeah just nothing really great this has a really nice look to it what else do we have here look at this on the the corrugated plastic it's very shiny in person wish i could convey that maybe i'll try this over uh, i mean I'll, maybe I'll try a candy on top of these too i'll try that behind the scenes maybe i'll post that but uh yeah look at the gold i mean the gold nugget here over the black resin rock let me uh right behind me is I'll, I'll show you what the rock looked like before hold on one second had to reach back there here it is before and that's after i just put a dye in my resin and made it black because i wanted to test uh, colors over a black with crevices and there we go so i am impressed with particularly the silver and the gold and uh, um, and what was this one? Antique bronze. This is nice too. This is a great color too. So uh, yeah, I, I I like them. I mean, your mileage may vary because this one is completely different from the rest. I don't know why. Um, but there are other colors. There's like a, a regular blue, a, a bright red. Um, so there's a much more colors to choose from. I got these at Hobby Lobby. I think Michaels and uh, maybe Lowe's and Home Depot might have them also. Um, I don't know if I could put a link up. I, I put a link up maybe to one of the stores I got it at. I don't know if Amazon has them. If they do, they're not going to be this low price of 4 bucks. I, I doubt it. Um, but if that's the only way you can get them, uh, I'll do a search on Amazon. But it is durable. It is impressive. And uh, uh, I like them. I give a thumbs up. Not the greatest paint in the world, but at 4 bucks uh, before the sale price, um, particularly this gold and silver, is absolutely worth it. Maybe I'll decant these and... Uh, Put them in the airbrush. Put them in the swallowtail. So maybe I'll do that as a test too. And then I'm going to put some candy over these over the week coming up. And uh, I'll put the results up for that. So there you go, guys. Uh, I like them. It gets my stamp of approval. Um, I want to mention something before we say goodbye. Let's part the Red Sea here. And my paints are ready to come in for another batch, the third batch. The two batches have sold out. Um, we're going to take pre-orders now. It's up right now. Taking a pre-order for the full set. And uh, what we're going to do is everybody that pre-orders will also be included in the perfect grade giveaway. And uh, the other kits and um, the airbrush, a swallowtail. We're giving away a swallowtail, uh, a perfect grade, and another Gundam kit. So it's a nice giveaway. So what we're going to do is the, along with these next pre-order batch, you'll also be included in the giveaway. And then we're going to give it away in time for my new paints which are coming in imminently uh they'll be here soon early early may 
So the next batch of paints, and those are going to be uh, these type of colors, silver, gold. So those are coming up, and uh, that'll be part of the lineup. And I got two new colors to add to these. So uh, we're going to do a giveaway when the new colors come out, and an even bigger giveaway than uh, the perfect grade, believe it or not. We have a, a lot of stuff to give away. Here's Nocturne Red. So uh, I'm very proud of these, and uh, I can't wait to see what you guys do with them. Uh, but yeah, go ahead if you, you haven't gotten them yet or if you missed out. The pre-order is up now for the third batch, which won't take long, probably a week or two, and uh, they'll be ready. And uh, after that, we're going to give the, the perfect grade away and the airbrush, and then we're going to start a whole new giveaway when the whole new batch of paints come out in a couple weeks. So there you go. All right, guys, I want to thank you so much. Please subscribe and like the video and hit the notification bell if you haven't already so you know when the giveaways are being announced and when a new video gets posted as i said we like to do them twice a week and uh, i want to thank you guys for being uh, friends of the channel you guys are really terrific i i, I can't uh, thank you guys a month god bless you all i hope you have a great rest of your weekend we will see you midweek next week with another review maybe that new uh ultrasonic cleaner will come in and we'll run a test with that with uh, i'm going to clean a whole batch of spoons and uh some airbrush parts so we'll see if that comes in in time and uh we'll give that another test and i get more paints and a primer to test and all kinds of stuff to test anyway guys talk too long you guys have a great day have a good one